In this question, we're asked to find the total amount of charge on the parallel plate capacitors, knowing that CEQ is equal to uh, total Q over V. And um, these things have an area of uh, point, you know, this very small area, and a separation of this much distance. So we know that the capacitor should be equal to um, K if there is one, epsilon naught A over D. And so the separation is, of course, D. And then we're going to go ahead and um, put these together. So we've got, um, uh, for C2, I guess, the one that has no K in it, it's just going to be 8.85 uh, e to the negative 12 times the area, 0 0.0095, divided by the distance, 0 0.0089. And so we get... Um, 9.45, um, and we'll just call that picofarads. Okay, so that's for C2, 9.45 picofarads. All right, now for C1, we can just multiply that by 2.9, and uh, we're going to get um, 2.74, or rather 27.4 pico, uh, picofarads, so 27.4 picofarads. So because these two capacitors are um, in parallel, that means we can add them together just pretty simply. 9.45 plus 27.4 gives us uh, 36.85 as C12. And then since we know the voltage, we just, uh, and this is in picofarads, we can just multiply that by 14 and we'll get uh, 515.9, 515.9 oh, that should be in picocoulombs. I think that's gonna be the total charge.